Running through streets and parking lots, these llamas found freedom and weren't going quietly. Sheriff's deputies and rope and wranglers caught on camera trying not once, not twice, but three times to lasso the loose llama. But she was too quick and each time gave them the slip. So it was time to bring in the horsepower. A group of landscapers hopped in their pickup truck and followed her down a back road where she starts to lose steam and pauses just long enough enough to finally get caught. Bueno, caballero. <laughs> the rogue cowboy says he was trimming palm trees down the street when he jumped into action. When I see a lot of people, I come and I do it. Thanks, fellas. Sorry about the hassle. The llama's relieved owner, Bub, says the sisters escaped while visiting an elderly home. One of them was walking her and she broke loose. And the chase was on. And that the chase lasted nearly three hours. She's got to calm down. But it wasn't over yet. The llama and Bub still had to walk more than a mile to get back to their trailer. And head back home. Ashley Berry, 3TV. The journalists around here are worldly. So breaking news that stops this newsroom in its tracks is very rare. But it happened today. These are pictures of the evening news editorial meeting captivated by live llamas on the lamb in Sun City, Arizona. Of course, we assigned one of our most experienced correspondents, Dean Reynolds. You really have to sympathize with the posse of would-be captors who tried to deal with this pair. How do you catch a 350-pound llama must have been the first question on their minds. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office confirmed to CBS News that officers here had never had to deal with wayward llamas before, and that became abundantly clear as they launched their pursuit with all manner of hand signals and gestures which the llamas basically ignored. Many misdirect attempts to lasso the animals, what else would you use, came next before they were finally caught, out of breath but unhurt. And it's safe to say the folks at Sun City have seen few afternoons like this one. According to authorities, the llamas had an appointment at the assisted living community as therapy animals, but they apparently thought better of the idea when one of the retirees got a little fresh. At least that's how Bub, their handler, explained it. What happened? What you guys do? We're, we took them to an, an elder home over here, and we were just letting them show them off and pet them and. One of the old gentlemen wanted to hold her, and she broke loose from him, and the chase was on. How long of a chase was it? Oh, geez. Two and a half hours, three hours. We have some breaking news to report now. There are some llamas loose in Sun City, Arizona. In any case, the llama drama was soon streamed and broadcast across the country, and within minutes, Twitter exploded in a hail of llama-themed hashtags. The Arizona Cardinals, for one, offered the elusive pair one-year deals and 2,340 pounds of hay each. We don't usually make room for llamas on the evening news, but for the legend of Laney and Carnita, we had to make an exception. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Chicago.